Hello and welcome to Need Money, Money for College, college Cooking show. show. I'm Michelle. I'm Jazz. Jazz needs money for college. College is really, really expensive. So with your help, if you subscribe and tell your friends all about our cooking show. Spread the word. Hopefully we'll be able to raise some money for Jazz to go to her top choice college. Yeah. And of course we're doing you know, scholarships and getting everything that we can, but we figured if we cook, why not give this a shot? Yeah, and we have fun cooking in the kitchen and we make lots of vegetarian and vegan foods that you might be interested in making or trying yourself. And we're gonna do some fun challenges yeah. as well. So today we're gonna to start our very first episode on something that every vegetarian person needs. <laughs> During the sixth season, when you're sick and you have a cold, everyone's like, get some chicken broth. But as a vegetarian or vegan, you like, that doesn't work. Um, no. Don't eat chicken. Nope. Um, so we're just gonna do, as it's currently winter season, flu season or cold season, however you would like to say it. Right. We're gonna show you uh, our favorite way of making a cold soup that knocks the cold right out well, of Well, then it's a, is that a cold, it's a hot soup. Well, yeah, it's a hot soup for, but your, for your cold. It's really easy to make. <laughs> Um, it takes just a few ingredients mm -hmm. and this it's is fast. It's really fast and then you can adjust the recipe the way you like it. You'll see that we both have a different way. Basil oh, Hush. And that's our dog Basil. You'll see or hear a lot of him in the background. <laughs> and you might see uh, our cat Blue in He's this. practically a dog. Yeah, he thinks so. So let's get started. What yeah. are our ingredients? So basically we have garlic. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of garlic. You can either use water and bouillon, or you can use vegetable broth. We like our Trader Joe's. And bouillon. But you can season it however you want. If you're maybe on the side of, I don't really want much seasoning because I'm sick, then this would actually be perfect. Or you may want some extra seasoning because you can't smell or taste anything and you want a little kick. So you can put a little bit extra of these ingredients or even, I don't know, hot sauce or you can I don't know, anything. Anything you want. really. But the thing is with garlic, because I know there's a whole study of how chicken broth knocks the cold right out of you. Well, garlic does the same thing. Mm -hmm. And there is also studies about that too. Yeah, garlic is um, like um, an antibiotic. So right. it can help and help your immune system fight off your cold. And to be honest with you, it just tastes really nice and warm going down and it gives you that comforting, yummy feeling. Your breath won't smell good but you won't be sick that's right <laughs> okay so what do we do first so first we're gonna have to peel our garlic cloves and then we're gonna have to slice them up so you can dice them you can leave them whole but I like slicing them because then the juice of the garlic gets out into the soup mm -hmm. so um, this is the thing I hate the most is peeling garlic I like peeling I hate garlic. Peeling garlic. so fun. some people have, ooh, some people have um, how many cloves do you have that? I have one two three Six, seven eight Eight cloves? Eight cloves. Eight cloves. So I have a, oh, I didn't get my tool out. Where's my tool? Ooh, your fancy garlic peeling tool. Yeah, that I is. don't trust. Well, you cut it, I'll find my tool. Maybe it's in the dishwasher. We'll take out the cutting board. Bring, bring. That's okay. for you. Here's my, my favorite. Oh, tiny cutting board and my tiny knife, because I like using this to chop up garlic. I don't prefer that knife. I think that's a paring knife, that's what it's called. And I don't know, we don't need to, We don't know. What, paring knife, wouldn't you pair, I don't know what you do with paring knife, I don't actually. Know. I don't know, isn't it for fish or something? I think it's for vegetables or no. fruit. Okay, so you can use it for fruits and vegetables. I like using it for everything, just because it's small and cute and works. Um, I like this knife because it's awesome. We have a thing for knives. Why are you chopping it with the skin on? I'm not chopping with the skin on. I chopped the sides off. This when I don't have my very fancy um, peeler. I that's why. Oh, this is a, not a good garlic. So I'm gonna take a little bit of those pieces off the I'm garlic. Do that. I peel my garlic before I start chopping it. I don't know what you're talking about. I just chop the ends off. Yeah, I do that after I'm done peeling it. Oh, well, I don't do that. See, I'm good at peeling garlic, so I don't know. So I just sliced mine different ways. Um, Again, I like it chunky. When I do this, I like to have little chunks of garlic. I don't like there. the chunks that humongous, but I like slicing them up to have little pieces in it. I think I'll try and make them a little bit smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Those, are, really Those are really large chunks. 
But they're not, I'm not dicing them. them. I don't want them diced because I'm no, like, No, I don't like them diced either. I like slicing them. I see Look at that. Peeling garlic is not hard. I just don't like it. I just don't like it. It just, it gets on my fingernails and then I'm like, well, I don't my really fingers smell like garlic okay. all day. It smells very so garlicky. garlicky in here. Again, this is eight cloves of garlic, which is like, if you're really sick, it you are gonna want those eight cloves of garlic. If you're not, no one in your house is gonna like you. But, <laughs> It is I, here's it's a trick. Really here's a trick about garlic. If everybody in your family or your vicinity eats the garlic with you, then mm -hmm. they won't. They won't get smell. Sick. Yeah. Well, they won't get sick. Yes, but they won't <laughs> smell you. So you should share your soup. And share it with everyone. Share it. No, because then they'll be like, "Hmm, this is delicious," and they won't. They'll smell just as bad as you will smell. Okay. So mine look like that. Yours look like that. I like the big old chunks. Okay, let's I get don't the see why. <laughs> Shake, 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 I don't know why we don't measure. We should measure. Because we've been cooking for a long time. So we can estimate. here's background. So here's some background on Jazz. His, of course, we're ma raising money for Jazz to go to college. Jazz has been cooking since I don't know, ten months old. Jazz always loved to be in the kitchen, helping me or Dad. Uh, Jazz's dad cooking everything and anything. When First Jazz thing I ever made was pancakes. Pancakes. And I don't even remember it. Um, Jazz's favorite toy was a toy kitchen. <laughs> so Jazz has been cooking for as long as, I don't know, as long as you can remember, I think. As long as I can remember. I've always cooked. Yeah. We ever make comments about Jason? That's because he's, he's behind the camera. Behind the camera. Hello! <laughs> okay, so how um, much of this bullion are you putting in there? I use a tablespoon. It's about a tablespoon. About a tablespoon? About like that much. Um, I usually, now we got to move to the stove. Okay, put it, oh, you're going to mix it in there? No, so, I do that on the stove. Okay, we'll move in. I put on a sort of medium heat on the flame, and I just stir in my bouillon. And basically, you just keep doing this until the bouillon is completely dissolved, and it will just stick on the spoon until it's dissolved, which is pretty nice. Uh, and until your soup is hot after the bouillon is dissolved. And that's pretty much it. Well, it's, for me, I have an extra step. But, I mean, as far as like cooking well, it, you want to bring it to a boil. Do you bring it to a boil? I absolutely bring it to I a boil. I just cook it till it's a temperature that I like. I mean, I, I cook it till all of the bouillon's dissolved. I keep stirring it so nothing burns. Um, and at this point, if you're adding any spices, this is usually when I add spices, if I'm adding spices. Yeah. Sometimes the spices you could add, like, um, I was talking before, if you like heat, mm -hmm. then maybe adding some, I don't like heat, but I'm assuming if you like some, you add some spicy sriracha. sriracha or even sriracha. just, sriracha. Spice, I like saying spicy sriracha <laughs> or some, um, red pepper mm -hmm. flakes. That would be good too, I think. Or cayenne pepper. See now that I cayenne pepper actually would taste really good in there. Pepper's not spicy. For me, cayenne pepper is spicy, but the flavor of cayenne would probably taste really good in there. Yeah. As you can see, there's a lot of garlic, um, and that's when at the end I'll show you my extra step, which I I usually strain some of the garlic out so there's not so much, and then I save some of the garlic, and it stinks up the refrigerator, but you can put it on everything else. And yeah, like on toast. And yeah, you could put it on toast. I because sometimes that's what I do too. Like I'll save the garlic mm -hmm. and put it like on a toast and butter. Yeah. So like extra. Like sometimes if I don't want soup because I really don't like soup, but I do like garlic toast. I don't know why you don't like soup. I only eat soup when I'm sick. <laughs> I'm definitely a coffee drinker. So, but I would imagine if you want it boiling, so the tea leaves release. All the yeah, can you, they, they can still do that at a hot temperature, just not boiling. All right, let's um, magic of television. <laughs> cool. So we're done with the soup. Um, I have here some butter. And I'm pouring my bowl before you mess it up. I know. I'm gonna pour it in my bowl and I'll do it in my bowl. Wow. 
Oh, so I just got all over the counter. all over the counter, <laughs> but that's okay. Because when you're sick, maybe you just can't. It's just not gonna happen. <laughs> you can't do it. So I'm, I'm just pouring the broth and leaving not a lot of the garlic in there, um, in my bowl and leaving the garlic in there. I'm only pouring a little bit. That was a good spike. Because, um, I don't um, like soup, but I want to demonstrate eating. So I put a pat of butter. So for the reason I put a pat of butter in it is because a lot of butter for such a small amount of soup. It's truly, um, just, it gives it like a creamier texture for me. Okay. And for me, that is very soothing. Yeah. Maybe if you have a cold and you don't want the dairy, you could put in some non butter. Yeah. Um, my trick, if you want to seal it and keep it for a little bit longer, if you put it in a glass mason jar hot or not like super boily, but a little, you know, warm, warm. and then put the lid in, um, and leave it on the counter, it, it will seal. seal. So you can keep it in the refrigerator 10 days, 15 days, 10 days, I would say. No I usually drink it all before then. So true. Um, and then also if you're feeling better, you can use it as a base right. for gravy. Um, gravy. Really? Yeah. Gravy. Oh, I guess so. Um, it, you can also drink it before you're sick as a preventative because mm -hmm. garlic also acts as a really good preventative. So if you're around people that are sick, like the end of the year finals and yeah. the person next to you is coughing you're like oh, i'm just trying to finish my final dude right drink some garlic soup and you won't get sick no way will come near you because you smell like garlic <laughs> <laughs> you will smell like garlic okay well thank you so much for watching our very first episode of the money for college cooking show go ahead and subscribe right there because jazz needs to go to college and college is expensive thanks so much keep watching bye bye Why did you cut it up so small? I like it that way. <laughs>